I typically have classes in the mornings or rehearsals uh, late morning. I get to school, maybe have time to warm up or practice a bit before the class. My name is Chris Maskell. I'm from Ottawa, Ontario. I started playing the saxophone when I was 13 or 14, I think. But I've been living in Montreal uh, during the school year at least for four years. Jazz Orchestra One rehearses four hours total a week, actually, so that's two rehearsals of two hours every week. That's McGill's premier big band. We do a fair amount of performing around the city and abroad. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Play a variety of repertoire. The director, Joe Sullivan, also runs his own big band outside of McGill. So we play some of his music occasionally. Uh, we also play other contemporary Canadian composers' music, as well as uh, more classic hits. Rehearsals may seem informal, but we got a lot of work done. We just happen to have fun at the same time. The course that I'm taking right now is called a master's degree in jazz performance. So you can choose to study composition, a performance stream, or like a jazz orchestra arranging stream. The saxophone that I'm playing is a 1953 Selmer Super Balanced Action. This is a tenor saxophone. I also play alto as well, and soprano actually, which is smaller than alto. This one was built in Canada. And of these super balanced actions, there was less than 20 that were silver plated in Canada, and this is one of them. It has no effect on how it plays, <laughs> but it's still kind of cool. <laughs> in addition to the large ensembles, undergraduates and graduate students also have to do small ensembles, which we form ourselves. We get to pick who we play with, who coaches the combo, what material you play. So it's very self-directed and a real bonus to the McGill Jazz Program, I would say. We're upstairs right now in Montreal. This is a combo for McGill that's made up of all master's students. So this is in fulfillment of our degree actually, but it's kind of nice because we get to go and play at a jazz club uh, and get some real world experience. present one set and there's a teacher who comes and gives you feedback and listens to your performance. Just a new set of ears to hear your music. I chose to study at McGill because of its great reputation in Canada and abroad for its jazz program and I also wanted to study with Remy Bolduc which I did for two years and it was an excellent experience. Hey guys, less Mozart, more Mingus. On McGill's faculty there's actually some of the best musicians in the country so we have excellent composers, arrangers, people who play mostly in smaller ensembles, larger ensembles. So there's people who can give you advice uh, from their careers on a wide variety of topics. We're here at McCord Museum. We're gonna be playing some jazz standards as part of the Schulich at McCord series. The museum has a partnership with the university, so they're gonna present a series of concerts here throughout the year, and we are the first one of the year. Hopefully I'll be able to get involved in education farther down the line, music education, preferably jazz. I also want to try to keep playing as much as I can and develop a career as a freelance musician. I've been dabbling a bit in writing, so I hope to be able to do music journalism as well on the side as another freelance career.